Hi everyone and welcome back. So I love leather fragrances and I know that many of you do too. So I thought that I should go through 10 of the sexiest leather fragrances I know. And we are starting off with one that I really can't pronounce the name of and that is Suede et Saffron. And I'm guessing I just butchered that name. But this one is from Nishane. It's a powdery, musky and spicy leather fragrance with some ambrette, some saffron, suede and ginger. This is extremely elegant. It's intoxicating and addictive. I just can't stop sniffing it and it's very seductive. And next up is Queer Intense from Guerlain and this is a beast when it comes to performance. When I was working on the video I sprayed this on just one spray on my chest and that was in the evening and then I kept on working and I went to bed and it still smells so strong in the morning when I woke up. So this is, this is like one of the best performing fragrances I have ever tried. This is a woody, musky, sweet and floral leather fragrance. It has some fruity notes from Ylang Ylang. It has of course a beautiful leather. It has tobacco, sandalwood, some cedar and to me it's it's almost soapy. It's extremely well made. It's very unique, very dressed up, and it just makes one happy to have this in the collection. Next up is British Leather from Dunhill. And this is a woody, spicy, aromatic, and earthy leather fragrance. It has notes like cardamom, some citrus. So you have some freshness, you have the lovely sweet spiciness, you have woody notes, some vetiver and lavender. And the woody notes in this actually do remind me of the woody notes that you find in Leighton Exclusive. This is like an old leather armchair. This is not for formal events. It's bold and it's challenging, but it is beautiful. And next up, Myth's Man from Amouage. This is smoky, aromatic, woody and herbal. And it also has an earthy side. The notes are chrysanthemum, some green notes, some herbal notes. It also has some rum, some vetiver, that beautiful leather together with some ash and labdanum and a floral note of a rose. This is, it's herbal, almost green leather. Very complex, it's very interesting and I think it's extremely masculine and sexy. And next up we have ombre leather from Tom Ford. And this is the warm, spicy, creamy and smoky leather fragrance. This has a soft side of cardamom, it has the leather, some jasmine and amber, and some moss. And this is just so sexy. It's leather focused and it works for any occasion. This has the scent of raw leather, but with a creamy and almost sweet side. And next up we have a powdery, musky, spicy and woody leather fragrance. And that is Curies from Carnair Barcelona. This has notes of saffron, sandalwood. It has different kinds of woody notes, some oud, leather and tonka beans. There's also some musk, some amber. So you have something that makes it warm and round and full. And I would say that this is like a marriage between some leather and some sandalwood. It's elegant, it's alluring and seductive. This really stands out, but in a polite way. So it really makes an impression. Next up is Aqua di Parma Leather. And this is a fragrance with the focus on the leather. It also has a woody side, something fresh, something floral, but the focus is on the leather. But notes are citrus, some raspberries, some rose and honeysuckle, some woody notes, and of course, that smell of the raw and sexy leather. This is bold and challenging, but it's also beautiful and nuanced. This is one of the best leather fragrances you can get. I have gotten so many compliments from both men and women wearing this. Next up is No Limits from Philip Klein. This is a warm and spicy and sweet leather fragrance. It's a cocktail of spices. There's some pepper, there's cinnamon, cardamom, and then you have some chocolate, 
vanilla and incense and also some amber. This is a gourmand leather fragrance. It's extremely unique and sexy and the prominent note of cardamom is just so wonderful. The sweetness is alluring, it's addictive and the nuances makes it so interesting. So we have Godolphin from Parfums de Marly coming up and this is an aromatic, fruity, woody and sweet leather fragrance. It has some fruity notes, some saffron, herbal and green notes, some jasmine, there's also this amber that makes it warm, it has some musk and a beautiful sweet vanilla note. This is the most elegant and dressed up leather fragrance I know of. It's very polite, very well dressed and it's kind of versatile in a way. You can use it to many occasions and know that you will smell good and smell right. And I love this one and it's really sexy. The last one we have coming up is Leather Oud from Dior. And this is hard to get but it's still available in some stores. And this is the dirty one. It was instant love for me, but I know some hate it. It's smoky, woody, spicy, aromatic. It has something fresh and spicy in the opening, but the focus is really on the leather and the oud. It also has some floral notes. There's some jasmine, some sweet and beautiful cardamom, but this is really about the oud and the leather. There's some dirty and almost barn-like leather. It's almost like the leather if you imagine that you're smelling a horse's saddle. It's something that smells like hay and it's almost something bitter in it. This is sexy and dirty and in your face. It's bold, it's challenging and to some it's disgusting but to me it's beautiful. That's 10 of my favorite sexiest leather fragrances. Tell me in the comments which leather fragrance you feel the best in. And like this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.